All right, guys, so we are ready to start our next chapter in science. So I want you to get your science books out, and we are on chapter four, okay? On chapter four, lesson one, so we are on page 142. So go ahead and get there. Um, if you need some more time, then go ahead and pause the video. But we should be on page 142. All right, so our lesson one is talking about ecosystems. So I don't know if you've got if you guys have ever heard of an ecosystem before, but we're going to answer the question, what are ecosystems? Okay, so you'll be able to know by the time we're done with this lesson. So if you look at the very top at the Envision It, it's that picture and there is a chipmunk in the picture, right? You see that chipmunk in the picture? Tell how the organisms in the picture can interact or how they interact. Okay, so how are they interacting with what's around them? How are they interacting with their environment? Okay. Well, let's look at that picture. Right now it looks like the chipmunk is using that log for shelter, okay? Maybe to get away from if it's cold outside, right? So maybe that would be one thing. Um, so just using that log for shelter. That's how it's using or inter interacting with its environment. Uh, we are going to skip the rest of page 142. It's about an albino alligator. So if you want to read a little bit about that later on, you can go back to it. If not, that's okay too. But we're going to go on to page 143. At the very top, it says, unlock the big question. Okay, I will know the parts of ecosystems and some examples of ecosystems. I will know how specific structures of organisms help them live in their habitats. So our words to know, so our vocab words, this is what you should already be studying now, okay? Uh, words to know, ecosystem, that's our first one. Population and habitat, okay? Do you know any of those words? Okay, let's go ahead and start reading on page 143. Parts of an ecosystem, that's our header. So we're gonna be learning about what an ecosystem is now and look, our ecosystem word is highlighted. An ecosystem is all the living things and non-living things in an environment and the many ways they interact. Okay, so it's the living things in an, in an environment, so like that chipmunk, and the non-living things in an environment, which is like the log, right? I guess a tree, if it wasn't a dead log, it would be a living thing too, but maybe some rocks, maybe some dirt, right? Um, so they can be living and non-living things. That's what an ecosystem is made of. So basically, if you go outside and whatever you see outside, that's part of your ecosystem. Um, so an ecosystem may be large, like an ocean, or small, like a park. Animals and plants are living parts of an ecosystem. These organisms interact with each other and with the non-living parts of the system. The non-living parts of an ecosystem include air, water, soil, sunlight, and landforms. Okay. So question number one, we're gonna look at these really quick. Main idea and details. Complete the graphic organizer below. Write details about ecosystems. Okay. So the main idea there are many parts of an ecosystem. They already gave you that. There are many parts of an ecosystem. So what's one detail we could add to that? And actually you guys are going to answer this question um, on the video. So I have a new way of doing this, okay? So our main idea, the big picture, is there are many parts of an ecosystem. Well, we want two details, okay? So maybe the first one can be about what an ecosystem is. So what is it made up of? Okay, go back in your reading and look. Okay, and then what makes an ecosystem an ecosystem? Okay, so kind of think of those two questions. Go ahead, um, the video will pause and you'll have to answer the questions. Okay, so you should be done answering those questions. The first detail you should have put is something about living and non-living organisms, right? An ecosystem is made up of living organisms and non-living organisms. Okay, so that was one detail you should have put. The second detail is that ecosystems have organisms that interact with each other. So in this ecosystem, these organisms, living and non-living, interact with each other. 
just like that chipmunk up in the picture is interacting with the log. Okay, it's using the log for something. Okay, so those are the two things you should have put. The first one, ecosystems have living and non-living parts. And the second one is organisms, which are living and non-living things, uh, interact with each other in an ecosystem. Okay, so if you don't have that, make sure you write that in your book too. Okay, I gave you the answer, so you should put the right answer in your book. Don't make it a big deal if you did not get the question right on the video. Okay. Okay, so second question. Number two says infer. The seahorse interacts with its ocean ecosystem by holding on to the coral. Why do you think the seahorse holds on to the coral? Why do you think it would hold on to the coral? There's a lot of different answers for this, so go ahead and write your, um, your answer and then the video will play again once you're done answering and you can get the right answer and write that down. What does the water do? Is the, is the water stand still? Does it hold still the whole time? No, it kind of moves, doesn't it? Yeah. So a lot of the times the water moves and it probably makes that seahorse kind of move with it, right? If, you're guys, if you guys are in the water and the water's moving, it's kind of hard to swim the opposite direction. So that seahorse is probably holding onto that coral so that it can stay where it wants to and it's not moving with the water. Okay, so your answer there, the water might push it away. Okay, I have one more question for you. Synthesize, what is an example of an ecosystem in your community? So I want an example of an ecosystem in your community. Ready, set, go. Okay, so um, some possible answers could have been, okay, you're looking outside, you might see a pond, a lake, a stream, anything like that. Okay, that's one ecosystem, or those are some ecosystems. What about if you look outside and there's a woods, right? A bunch of trees in one spot, that would be an ecosystem, the woods. What about, we talked about streams, we talked about any kind of waterways like an ocean. What about if we said like a garden, if you went out to the garden, right? There's a bunch of living plants out there. Yeah, that would be another ecosystem. So you could put a lot of different things for ecosystems that you find in your community, okay? Go ahead and go to the next slide or go back to your slide presentation, go to the next slide, and you'll probably have another video there that you can watch and we'll do the same thing.